Um, I mean, bring it home. I understand why people say that. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a feminist uh, movement, you know, yeah. like uh, what do you call like women's conference. Yeah, people would think that means yeah. exactly. women's guild. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that is exactly not who we are. Mm -hmm. um, we're just two strong women that happen to to run free minds. Yeah. Um, but we do have a team of men that we work with. We do have a lot of guys at our sessions as well. Uh, so yeah, we are not a uh, men bashing. Um, Community, yeah, yeah. Well, not, well, that, that's that the kind stereotype of which we break stereotypes, and that's one of the things that we do mm -hmm. at Free Minds. So, yeah. as much as it's the both of us running Free Minds as mm -hmm. you know, strong, independent women, yeah. we do have a p part of our team are men. So, and they are also key people. Without them, we wouldn't be here sitting and having this conversation yeah. with you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and the conversations aren't only about sex, the thing is. Kind of, Human beings just get excited about sex because For sure, yeah. it's, I mean, it's, a, it's a nice thing, yeah. but <laughs> but and a great time. Yeah, and which is why like when we do have our sessions on sex, we do have a more lively crowd. Yeah. We do have a bigger crowd because in either half of Kenyans are like low key perverts, but also maybe not. <laughs> I like that low key perverts. Yeah, just low key yeah. perverts, but either way or freaks. Yeah, yeah, or freaks, but either way sex is nice to mm. talk about. But we do have a wide spectrum of uh, topics that we do discuss every month. Yeah. yeah. All right. So one of the things that you guys do is uh, what I see on the social media is you break out people of uh, you break people out of mental prisons or so. Wow. That's yeah. what I keep seeing. Very, yeah, very it, powerful. Exactly. Yeah. Very. So um, when did that free mind sessions getting start getting that idea? People start getting the idea of that you people just bash men, and then they veer away from the actual thing that you guys actually are doing. Right. So when like did it become that thing where yeah, people thought yeah. that? Oh, I think it's because you know, 68% of our demographic that come are women, and the people that actually, and 90% are people who talk during the sessions are women. So it feels like that. And if you notice a lot of our videos, a lot of women speak up. So we're really trying to also encourage men to have that. Um, confidence to like speak up and talk about it mm -hmm. but we also had to change the format because a lot of the format was there was an there was a panel and there was an audience so women feel comfortable being able to open up in that space yeah. how do we get men to be able to open up put them in some intimate grouping and it also depends also on the topic as well like what are women comfortable talking about what are men comfortable talking about and what are they comfortable talking about together if it's a session on like say relationships for example both sexes will speak about on that and it wouldn't be just only one-sided because there's both parties to play in that mm -hmm. scenario mm -hmm. so i think it only started because of also what we were sort of portrayed on social media right. um, by the people that come and also what our content looked like at mm -hmm. the time of beginning mm -hmm. but we have evolved very much so and if you, even the session you will experience tonight completely morphed from when we began. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm curious, what do you